Hi guys, happy Friday. I know it's not Friday probably where you are unless we have some fellow Australians in the group because it's Friday here in Australia but still Thursday night over there. Sorry I'm late. I'm five minutes late. Who is on to me? <laughs> Who has been searching the internet saying, well, where is she? She said half an hour and now it's 35 minutes. Hi Kimberly, how are you? Hi Elena. Say hello guys so I can see who's there. Hi Rocky. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hi Lizzie. Lizzie's in Australia. Happy Friday Lizzie. <laughs> Hi Anne. How's everybody? Oh, I have been flustered. <laughs> so I have to leave home in two hours and I am driving over the mountain range today out west because my little boy is playing basketball out in a western city. So we're going into cow country. <laughs> um, now the east coast of Australia has this giant mountain range all down the, just in from the coast, this mountain range. So if you wanna go west, you kind of have to go up over the mountain and then out the back. I haven't been out the back for so long um, and my husband, <laughs> the surfer boy, he says if we go west he gets a pain in the tummy so we can't go west. Okay, so that's why we never go inland. <laughs> he can't be too far from the sea, it gives him a pain in the tummy. So we stay close to the coast, um, take our vacations on the coast. Um, and our mountain range is a bit like the Rockies. Is it the Rockies that comes all the way down the coast, sort of just inland of the coast and in the States? So, <laughs> yes. So I've got a lot of organizing to do and I have whipped up a little quiche frittata type dish to take with me. I've got the, the esky pack. Do you know what an esky, esky is? That's like a cooler box. So we call it an esky. I don't know why. It's got something to do with Eskimos, maybe. <laughs> I think one of the first brands of the cooler box that came to Australia, it might have been called Eskimo box or something. And so that's why we call it an esky. One of those weird little Australianisms. In South Africa, they call it a chili box. <laughs> so all different sorts of names for random items it's so funny isn't it um all right today I wanted to talk to you about prices because I think it was Margot was asking me how much is the price of things there in Australia because things in America are going a little bit cray cray a little bit crazy right now and I wanted to let you guys know that it's happening here too um our interest rates have been on like point two five of a percent for the last couple of years the government dropped them way 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 down low while we got through the pandemic to make life easy for everybody I don't know why I'm not an economist let's not pretend <laughs> anyway in the last probably month they have it's gone up twice so it's like a sign of things to come that interest rates and prices of real estate went crazy. People were buying houses like crazy. Everything's a bit crazy. So I've done a little bit of a comparison and wanted to tell you about the prices here. So gas, let's start with gas, the big one. My car is diesel. So, and our, um, we don't do gallons, we do liters. So I have to convert it all. That's why I had to enter it into an Excel document. So. Diesel is $2.39 a litre, okay, which in US dollars would be $1.65. And when we convert that to gallons, that would be $6.25 a gallon. I think I've done the math. <laughs> Unleaded petrol, normal petrol, $2.09 Australian per litre. So that converts to $1.44 a litre US dollars. And then when I convert that over to gallons, it's $5.47. So I think we're sitting at about the same as you guys. I'm not sure, maybe slightly more because I think our government maybe has more taxes on it than you guys have, or perhaps that's a state by state thing. 
but either way it's very expensive now the thing that they've been complaining about lately is the price of a lettuce and a standard iceberg lettuce now because we had such a crazy summer with rain 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 and flooding um a lettuce has become quite a rare commodity you know not the small lettuce that they grow hydroponically but like an iceberg lettuce <laughs> It's a big deal, you guys. Although I don't really eat lettuce in the winter time, then it's all soups and toast. Dip your toast in the yummy chicken soup. So, an iceberg lettuce has been up to ten dollars on some in some supermarkets. I just got online to my online grocery store because I do my grocery shopping online. It's six dollars at the moment for an iceberg lettuce. And my sister said she paid $5 at another store yesterday. So that's around about $4 something US for a lettuce. Now, another very important commodity in my family, my Oma, I've got Dutch last name, Van Lo. My Oma always said I was a very good little Dutch girl because I loved cheese. So cheese <laughs> is number one on my list. A one kilogram block of cheese um is ten dollars australian which is six dollars 91 us i haven't done the conversion um i forgot to do the kilo pound conversion does anyone know that <laughs> so a block of cheese we're talking seven dollars you guys it's like this sort of size quite a big block one kilo loaf of bread loaf of bread is two dollars fifty what is it there? When I convert $2.50 Australian into US dollars, we're talking $1.73. So what is a loaf of bread there? Would love to know. Nice to, when you put it in your comments, make sure you say what it is, um, what it is the price you paid for. Okay, so make sure you say gas or cheese or whatever. Paid $10 per pound for American cheese. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> crazy times. Okay, a cob of corn. Do you call it a cob? You know, when it's still got the leaves around it? That was $2.20 each. That is $1.50 US on my little grocery online shop this week. $1.50 US for one single thing of corn. <laughs> so things are crazy, crazy at the moment. I think, yeah, $3.50 a loaf, says Diane, for bread. What did I say our bread was? $1.73. Yeah, five for $2 for corn, says Dorothy. <laughs> and what are we paying? $1.50 each? Oh, my goodness. Loaf of bread, depending on rye, store white, or like designer, $4 and higher. So, um my quote my price here for a loaf of bread is not a fancy loaf of bread it's the one that's baked in the store in the grocery store like very standard no fancy packaging just a very standard sliced white loaf of bread or wholemeal same price okay <laughs> interesting <laughs> now the other interesting thing that we were talking about is temperatures because it's winter here look at me in my summer top <laughs> the mornings are freezing this morning was so so cold but it warms up the sun comes out and we have the most spectacular winter days um so i was looking at today's temperatures and i've converted celsius to fahrenheit so today when the lowest temperature today is six degrees celsius which is 42 fahrenheit the top today is going to be 20 celsius which is 68 Fahrenheit, which is lovely. It's beautiful. As long as you can find a sunny spot, no wind. Now, the funny thing is, you know, my sister Amy, how she was living in Bend, Oregon. And of course, you know, some of those winters were just really harsh, loads of snow. Um, she learned how to drive with chains on the car and <laughs> not slip on the ice, all this stuff that like freaks me out. So she was saying that since she's moved to Australia, she met some guy who was from England 
and they were saying about how much colder it is, is here where it's not really colder as such, but he's like, the, the two of them decided that our, t our houses are built like tents and that's why it's so cold. It's, <laughs> there's, I don't know, you guys, she lived in Ben, she had a beautiful, lovely little cottage house that was so warm, great heating. Um, yeah, and so she was not, not, never as cold as she is here in Australia where our buildings are like tents, she said. <laughs> It's like living in a tent. So yeah, that's why I am always complaining about the cold. Our house is made of stone, but upstairs is sort of just single layer, um, like a concrete composite stuff, like a, it's called Hardy Flex. I don't know what you guys would have, but that's, it's quite thick and we have insulation in the walls, but our, st our house is warm downstairs and then we lose all that warmth upstairs. So as soon as the sun dips behind that mountain, I'm running around like a crazy lady, closing all the blinds, trying to keep the warmth inside my little bunker of a house. <laughs> By the mornings, it's cold and then you've got to wait for the sun to come out and warm up the house again. <laughs> So yeah, I know you guys are having super hot summer over there. I guess that is, you know, the world, climate change and all that sort of stuff is making the weather patterns different. Um, that's, we had El Nino this uh, summer and it was just nonstop rain, absolutely crazy nonstop rain. So this sweatshirt, I'll tell you what I ended up doing. The factory has gone ahead and cut it. They have resized it because this was too small. As you all saw, we're going to do the same fit as we did last season. And I'll show you what we did with the print. Oh, I've got a bad back at the moment, so I can't bend over. I'm like a little old lady. <laughs> so twisted the starfish so that the center, this is the center front neck here. Okay, so you're going to have that going either side of your chins. One of the ladies, I can't remember who it was, she's like, when it was like this, where it's pointing straight up to the chin, she's like, that's pointing straight up to my double chins. <laughs> I said, girlfriend, we're not allowed to pick on ourselves. We're not allowed to say nasty things to ourselves in this group. And I laughed because she said, I was actually being nice to myself because I've actually got triple chins. <laughs> And I only said I had a double, so I was being nice to myself. I'm like, that is so funny. Us girls, we are not kind to each other, are we? <laughs> we kind to each other. We're not kind to ourselves. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> We're not supposed to be talking about those double chins or triple chins for that matter. <laughs> okay, so... The legs of the starfish or the fingers of the starfish are pointing outwards. I've rearranged where it says island girl. So because otherwise that was in a different position and I've made it slightly smaller, but not too much smaller. So it's still quite big and I've made the pin line the same width as the pin line on the waves. Okay, so that's what we decided. You guys, thank you for your feedback. And I know a lot of people still ch said, yes, they love the big starfish. So I didn't go a lot smaller. I sort of compromised in between so that I can try and keep everyone happy. <laughs> it's so good. So good to um, actually, you know, bounce things off you guys and get some feedback. Very, very exciting. So that's all happening. It's going into production and we will have that in the warehouse and in uh, different boutiques throughout the States later in the year, probably around November, December. That's what I'm hoping. Would be nice sooner, but yeah, the freight times these days is just, it takes probably three weeks longer than it used to, to get things from India into the US. Um, it takes, uh, I don't know what happens when it lands in New Jersey, but it, <laughs> New Jersey is like this black hole of freight where time stands still and freight takes forever to get out of there. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Um, now, someone did ask me for a shopping code this week and I haven't got that organized yet, 
But if you are still keen on a shopping code, please put it in the comments and I will work on that this afternoon in between my four hour drive out to cow country. I'm actually going to um, Tamworth. That's the name of the city. And Tamworth is our country music capital. So I guess it's like your Nashville. Is that your country music capital? They have a big festival there every year. Well, they used to before COVID. I'm sure it'll be back this year or next year. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going. It's That's really um, cow country out there. New Jersey has been known as the armpit of America. <laughs> you can't call me, I'm live. <laughs> All right, um, I haven't chosen a sarong. So I do have this one very nearby though. This is the one where I had it folded to show you how to make a sarong into a tote bag. Do you remember that lesson? You basically put it into triangles and triangles again and it becomes a tote bag and you can put things in here when you go to the beach. A sarong is just so handy when you go on vacation. If you've forgotten your beach bag, there you go. Lizzie's saying, what's a shopping code? It's like a discount code or sometimes I do a free item. You guys have lost me. Am I back? You guys have me? Am I still there? It says you're all still watching. I'll just keep talking. <laughs> There's, nothing stops me from talking. I could talk underwater. Yes, I'm back. I have sound. Okay, thank you. Thank you for confirming that. I'm back. Don't know what happened there. I now no longer use my Wi-Fi when I do these lives because my Wi-Fi was more spotty than my mobile data. So now I switch off, off the Wi-Fi and just go with the... Uh, with the mobile data. Okay, so this is the sarong that we're going to win this week. This is an Arawak sarong in hot pink. Now the Arawak, if you haven't seen it before, it has these little uh, symbols on it that are rock carvings in the Caribbean. Rock carvings like that turtle is a rock carving in the Caribbean. And also this little curly whirly thing. Where is the little curly? This little curly whirly thing right there, that is on rock carvings in St. John. And what happens with these rock carvings is that they've been grown over by these ancient rainforests and nobody knows they're there. And then all of a sudden these hikers are hiking through some rainforest and they're like, hang on, what's that? So every now and then they find these new rock carvings and it's just fascinating. So this is a, a sarong designed in honour of the Arawak people who were the first people in the Caribbean, the native Caribbean people. So if you want to make this sarong into a bag, you turn it into a square because at the moment it's a long rectangle. So what you do, it's pretty easy, turn it into more of a square shape, take the two opposite corners and tie it into quite a big knot. The first one needs to be quite a big knot because that sort of makes the bag happen. And then you take the other two corners, bring them up together and tie them in a tiny little knot. And so this is your shoulder strap of your, of your bag. I've been designing lots of new sarongs for next season too. The frilly fish, you guys remember that? The frilly fish is coming. So there you go. That's how to make it into a hobo bag, hobo beach bag. And then you can just throw your things down in there. It's nice and safe. Very pretty in pink. So do you remember the name of the sarong? That can be the question. What is the name of this sarong? It is named after the first native people of the Caribbean. So put your answers there and we will tally up and do a drawing sometime over the weekend. You know, when I go away, <laughs> I find it hard to stick to a schedule. So I will count them all up and use random.org to select a winner and do the announcement sometime over the weekend, sometime at my choosing. <laughs> it's so funny. My sister just called me. 
she's already on her road because she has to go out there and do a basketball camp before the boys have to be there, right? So I'm leaving at 12. She's already on the road. But I am picking up her son and my son from school and I'm taking the boys out there. And so she was telling her little boy, he's 10, she was telling Auntie Kim, Auntie Kim is coming to pick you up from school. Now Dylan, Dylan's on clockwork. So he's like, well, what time will Auntie Kim be there? And so she says, well, she said about 12, but you know, Auntie Kim, it could be 12.30, it could be one o'clock. <laughs> Even the kids are learning. <laughs> uh, last week I heard my um, my mum and Christy, my middle sister, were talking to someone about, um, you know, be people being on time. And Christy's like, I'm always 10 minutes early. And she is. My sister is so the most super organised person you've ever met. She's always early. She's always organised. And yeah, mum and I were laughing and then mum says, well, I'm always on time. Mum's not early, she's not late, she's always on time. Yep, that's on, That's it too. And then I piped up and said, and I'm always 10 minutes late. <laughs> and they were like, yes, <laughs> so frustrated. <laughs> oh, well, I think they still love me. <laughs> I think I'm forgiven. All right, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, make sure you enter the giveaway. You've got to put the comment. I see some of you have written the comments already. So, yep, that's the correct answer. Rocky, you're organised, girlfriend. You're always 10 minutes early. <laughs> you know what happened to me this morning and why I was late? I went around, I got everything organised, I'm packing, I'm, you know, doing the conversions of gallons to litres and trying to get you know, all my ducks in a row. And at far at five minutes to the time that I'm supposed to go live, I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I can't find my phone. I've got to go live. <laughs> oh, no. So it took me 10 minutes to find my phone. It was in my cosmetic straw because I was doing my face. <laughs> I am a little bit hopeless. I hope you guys still love me. Am I forgiven? <laughs> Have a great weekend, Island Girls. Thank you, Rocky, for the safe travels wishes. Coupon code, I will work on that, Linda. I will do it this morning before I leave, I promise, okay? Wesley, hello. You missed the whole thing. The neighbours came over. You will have to rewatch. Yes, at least it's still there. You'll, think, you'll hear all about how crazy I am, so there's nothing new there. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Phil. Oh, and everybody, I think it's Darlene's birthday tomorrow. You know what happens with Facebook? Facebook tells me, hey, it's someone's birthday. And so I have to be super careful not to say happy birthday because it's already tomorrow here. So I think it's Darlene's birthday tomorrow. And Facebook tells me today because it's already tomorrow here in Australia. So happy birthday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in.